Hey everyone, welcome to the Imperial Outpost. As always, it's good to have you guys along. The NN-14 Blaster Pistol was a pistol that Ray used in the Force Awakens movies, and it was given to her by her old favourite scoundrel, Han Solo. Now I have one here with me today. This is a Nerf Blaster version of that same Blaster Pistol. But as with Nerf Blasters, they don't look like the original prop, not color wise anyway. So we're going to have a little bit of a spray up with this to try and make it look more like the uh, prop from the films. And then we could then use it as either cosplay or display. So let's get this to the table and make a start. Okay guys, so we have the Nerf Blaster here on the table. Now, looking at the original NN14 from the movies, this part here on the back is uh, not there. This is solely uh, for the Nerf Blaster. Uh, why they put that on there, I'm not sure whether it's to do with the mechanisms. Um, don't know but putting that aside it's uh, not bad representation to be honest with you so as always with these nerf blasters what we have to do is take off rub off these uh, um, writing on here the Star Wars there and if we have a look on the back we have some writing here uh, etc and here. So we're going to need to uh, rub them off, get get rid of them. Uh, also, we will need to rub the whole gun down to give it a texture for the uh, paint to adhere to. We're also going to be drilling out these holes here. That will make it look more authentic. So that's uh, another job to do. When it comes to the seam lines here, I'm not sure whether I'm going to um, fill them in and rub them down. Uh, I haven't decided what to do on that yet. So uh, um, I'm going to leave that just, just for now. Um, we will then obviously need to take uh, the handle part off. We will spray that, that part separately. But uh, first off, I think what we do is we get rid of the writing on here. Once that's done, I think what we might have to do is take it apart to do the spraying. The reason why I say take it apart, if, if, if you have a look at um, my previous video, um, which I've done, uh, Hand Salo's Blaster, that's how I sprayed that. I took that one apart and re-sprayed it like that, which wasn't too bad, but this is also very similar in the design for the Nerf Blaster, which if you pull this back, you see this is where you put the Nerf darts. And by taking it apart, you can spray all in there. So it, 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 it covers all that. Otherwise, you, you, you're going to leave that looking like that when you, when you pull it back to put the Nerf darts in. I mean, it's, if you're gonna use it for display, then fair enough, it's gonna be like that. But um, I, I'm gonna take it apart uh, and spray all that, uh, just in case you wanna use it as cosplay, um, you know, then, then that hides that bit. So that's basically the process. Um, I'm gonna obviously use a spraying process. I'll put a, um, uh, an undercoat on it spray it all undercoat and then I'll, I'm going to spray it the silver um, this this part I think I'm going to spray black uh, same as the handle um, and then I'm going to put some weathering on it because if you see from the uh, photo that I, I, I previously put up um, it does look quite distressed um, and weathered so um, I'm going to use the brush stroke uh, um, effect um, 
uh, method, sorry, for for that to give, give it that effect. Um, yeah, but uh, for now, what we do, we start with by uh, getting rid of all this uh, writing on here. Now for that, I'm gonna be using a wet and dry sandpaper, which will be this here. Okay, this is uh, 400 grit wet and dry. Okay, and another technique that I use is this nail file here. Okay, which is 120 and 240 grit, 120 one side, 240 the other side. This is really good for getting the writing off and I'll use the uh, wet and dry to give it a nice um, sanding over for the paint to stick to. Um, so first off is to um, get the writing off with this. So uh, let's start. Okay, so it's as easy as that, and that Star Wars logo's gone. So uh, I'll uh, carry on and do this side, and uh, I'll uh, see in a bit. So uh, talk amongst yourselves. Okay, so I have now finished removing the writing. Okay, so that's all sanded down. So our next task will be to drill these holes out on the barrel. Have a look there. We have a set of holes out that side and that side there. So we're going to drill those out. Firstly, going to use pilot drill to start the hole. And then obviously we use the larger drill. Now, be careful when you do this because if your hands are in the wrong place you can do yourself an injury so just you know remember to keep your trailing hand away from the drill when you're drilling so uh, let's uh, let's start drilling so we drilled the holes out so now what we're going to do is take the blaster apart because I want to get to the internals in here. Okay. And basically that's a case of just taking the screws out of here. Uh, my advice would be get something like this, a little tray, which is magnetic to catch your screws because uh, uh, you don't want to be losing them. Okay. So, uh, Let's crack on. Okay, so there are the inside workings. Now, what I'd advise is to be very, make a note of where everything goes, okay? Um, take a picture on your phone, something like that, just so you know um, how to put it back, okay? Um, yeah. I'll just be very, very careful with everything. So, yeah, if I remember rightly, there is a screw under here, uh, which is just in there, which takes this back part out. Okay, but we should be able to get this out.
and another screw just there. Okay, now that uh, I've got that apart, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to give the surface of the blaster that we're going to put paint on a rubbing down with um, 400 grit wet and dry. Now the reason why we do this is to give the blaster a texture for the paint to adhere to. Okay, and it's quite simple, just rub it over till you feel it uh, a nice texture on it and that should be ready. So as you can see, all the parts are laid out, ready for spraying. So uh, that's the next stage. So for the paint, we're gonna be starting with a gray primer, followed by a silver metallic and a black matte. And once all the painting's done, we're give it a coat of matte varnish. Okay, I've masked up a couple of the parts because we're going to have to spray this part black. Okay, and I didn't want to get any black onto the silver here. And this part is black, so I want to spray that silver, so I don't want to get any silver on there. So uh, these are the last few bits to spray. So, uh, Let's get on. Okay, guys. And we're almost done. The spraying is now complete. And I think you'll agree, that's not a bad representation of the actual blaster. But it's gonna need a bit of weathering now. So we go over to, to that stage to do that. I'm gonna be using the dry brush method. Now I'll put a picture up for you guys to see what the actual blaster looks like and I'm going to be following that as a reference to weather it up. So uh, let's let's get that weathered. Um, once the weathered, once, once it's all finished, it is weathered, I will then be adding a coat of matte varnish just to seal everything in. You don't have to do this, but uh, I choose I want to. Um, just a quick note as well. I haven't um, filled in these seam lines on here. Okay. Um, again, not necessary. Um, but I'm, I'm quite happy the way it is at the moment. So, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's crack on. Okay, so I think you'll agree that's uh, looking quite distressed, which is a nice looking effect, you know. So I'm quite uh, quite pleased with that. So now uh, we look at doing some 
blueing around the edge here. There we are guys, a nice looking blaster. Very pleased with how this has turned out. And it could be used for display or cosplay. Until the next video, long live the empire.